Maybelline, you guys, you guys. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamno. Today I'm going to be reviewing Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Foundation. This is something you're interested in. Then keep on watching. So this is the foundation right here. Same thing as the old Super Stay packaging, just the sticker difference. Um, I got it in the shade Mocha. I always wear Mocha in any Maybelline foundation. You can see that my face is a lot, um, you know, that's because I just finished my skincare routine. So I'm going in with Milk Hydro Grip. Next, I'm going in with this um, Secret Key Hydro Gel. I recently started applying this stuff under my eyes before my foundation so that that area will not be as drying as it normally would be. I'm going to swatch it now. That right there is Mocha and I'm going to just swatch this underneath. So this next swatch is here so I can know if this foundation does oxidize or not. Right now the foundation looks pretty orange than my skin tone but let's just apply it. I'm going to focus on where I have like dark spots. So this foundation is giving me medium coverage because I'm still seeing like my dark spots. So I want to go complete the rest of my face off camera and I'll be back. The time right now is... Anyway, the time on my screen is 12.05. I didn't mean to stay for over an hour or an hour exactly. The thing is that kitchen cold so I had to attend to the kitchen but I'm back. And this is my finished look and I really do like the look. Mm, I didn't even think I was going to go on a colored eyeshadow spray until I started. Let me show you guys my side view very well. Can you guys see this? This foundation is only really available in the UK because I tried, um, I checked the um, Maybelline US and I didn't find it. So on now. Uh, Maybelline UK's website is called the Super Stay Active Wear Full Coverage 30 Hours Long Lasting Liquid Foundation. Whew, that was a lot. So it comes in 20 shades like the previous Super Stay. In my opinion, they're just two dark shades, Coco and Mocha. I wear the last shade in the foundation range, guys. I thought we've passed this. I even went as far as getting the caramel 60 and this is how light caramel 60 is mocha and this is caramel so just one shade in between these two foundations the maybelline super stay active wear foundation claims to be lightweight breathable transfer resistant sweat resistant and water resistant it claims to also be a very comfortable matte foundation that goes above and beyond to transform the look of one's skin and it features an oil-free formula that doesn't clog the pores and it is dermatologist tested and it's for all skin types let's talk about the texture coverage and finish i'll start with the texture first the texture of this foundation is not to take not to runny but it's more on the thicker side and as than the runny side i hope that makes sense then the um coverage this gives me a medium coverage why i said that is because i could still see my um dark spots peeking through the finish this leaves me with somewhat a matte finish so basically it's a soft matte foundation to me some things i've noticed that is different from the original super stay that i used to and this one the previous one is a lot thicker gives you like a more matte finish if you want to see that feature tap the link right here to take you there um also let me know if you want me to 
do a comparison of both, like applying one on one side, applying the other one on, on the other side. I would really love to do that. Just that I do not have a super stay, the old super stay. I would have to purchase it for the video. So if you're interested in that, just let me know in the comment section and I will do that for you guys. So this foundation retails for £10.99. On Boots right now, you can get three for two. So I'm sure you guys can see my face. I've been under the sun trying to pack um, the clothes I washed. Um, so my whole face is sweaty. I don't know if you guys can see the sweat around this area. Let me turn to this side. There's no how you're not capturing this sweaty part of my face. There's no how you guys aren't. If you worry why I'm looking down, I'm using my phone as my viewfinder. Or oh, this angle that has um sorry, or oh, this angle that has sweat. So there's a bit of movement around my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's very obvious. So the foundation has shifted a little bit there and also around my nose. But it managed to still stay intact. I'm still popping though there is a shine on this area. I'm surprised that my forehead has just minimal. But this whole area of my face has a lot of shine. Like it's shiny for three hours. But still looks good. I think it's the eyes for me and the hair for me. And everything for me. <laughs> I'm giving you guys this big smile because I'm super excited that I'm back to filming. Like it's just been a lot, you know, when you place an order and it doesn't just come. So like makeup makes me happy, skincare makes me happy. But the time right now is seven o'clock. It's seven PM here in Lagos, Nigeria. So I've been wearing this foundation for good eight hours. I haven't done any blotting whatsoever. Let me come closer. Just right there, crack lines. Let me come up like so. So this is how oily I look after eight hours without blotting. And my makeup is all, almost intact. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys found my video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Also, let me know in the comment section if you've tried out this foundation or if you look forward to, you know, getting it as well. Until next time. Bye guys.